In this video, we're gonna play with my Willy, but not the one that you think of. Hold on for a second. I'm talking about Triple Well's Willy, which is their new AI tool that they have, allowing you to speak with your data. So whether or not you're a Shopify user that is or is not using Triple Well yet, you're gonna to wanna to watch this video because I'm telling you, this is going to blow your mind. My name is Justin and I'm the founder at Wizzle Media, an e-commerce marketing agency specializing in elevating thriving brands by simplifying e-commerce growth. So at the moment, out of 11 client accounts at the agency, five are on Triple Well. With that being said, we only have eight that would technically be eligible to be on Triple Well because the two others one is a WooCommerce brand, the other one is an app, therefore they can't be on there. And out of the three that are not yet on Triple Well, two right now are actually looking into getting set up with it. All that to say that we've been using this platform for over a year and a half, it's actually been using it since 2021. It's great, doing amazing, does wonders. You can check out other videos that I have on the channel about using Triple Wall, because today I wanna focus a little deeper. I wanna focus on a specific feature that they released recently, which they call Willy. So Willy looks like this. And if you're familiar with the ChatGPT interface, then you're gonna be familiar with Willy in itself. So it basically is a chat interface allowing you to communicate with your triple wall data. So you have three options. You can use GPT-4, NLQ, GPT-3.5. I personally prefer using NLQ. You'll see why in this video. If you're not yet familiar with what NLQ is, it's natural language query, which as this website defines it as basically right here, it's a capability in buy software solutions that allow people to ask questions of data within their analytics platform using everyday language as they would to another person to find information they need to make business decision. And usually that's kind of what you want, right? That's what you want at a triple wall. Technically that's why you would want to communicate with triple wall simply to ask it questions or insights about your data. So that said, if I switch, let's say the GPT-4 model, pay close attention to here, these three columns, examples, capabilities, limitations. If I switch, they're actually gonna switch slightly. So if I go back to NLQ, you can see it's not the same exact capabilities nor limitations. So limitations of using the NLQ model are the following. It's aware of more than summary page data, but not all of triple wall data. Therefore, you can't ask it questions about everything and anything on triple wall. It does have only specific data sets that it knows. Other things may occasionally generate incorrect information, which they just put across as a warning on every single model. Because, hey, I'm guessing you don't want to be liable in case Triple Wall tells you to increase your ad spend, but technically you end up losing money. Now, one of the limitations from using the GPT model is that it's only aware of summary page data. So going back to NLQ, it's aware of more than summary page data. This one is only aware of summary page data. So if you're not yet familiar with summary page data, then I invite you to head to the summary page right here and check out what data you have right there. You still have quite a lot considering, you know, all things considered, you do have quite a lot right here. But now enough said, enough talked about, let's just get right into it and show you exactly what you can do with it. So first and foremost, I could type something along the lines right here of, well, it gives me examples. So let's just start with that. What was my Facebook spend compared to Google spend over the last 30 days? So let's hit enter, let's let it load and let's see what the result will be. So what it gives me right here is based on the data, Facebook spend was significantly higher than Google spend over the last 30 days. Your Facebook spend was of $11,000 while your Google spend was $228. Now you can also ask it follow-up questions to it. So as an example, should I increase my Google ad spend? It basically gives me a bunch of results and it tells me, well, based on that, I do think that you should do it. And if that's not good enough, you can also talk with Willie through the microphone icon here at the bottom. So let me just turn this on and say, can you give me more details on that? And boom, it's done right here. Just hit send and let's see what's gonna come up. But then yet again, I'm using NLQ right here, so it won't really know what I'm saying right there. Again, NLQ is good if you're just trying to get information out of your data. Where things get interesting is if you switch to a GPT, so GPT 3.5 or 4 model, this is basically like interacting with ChatGPT. And now the beauty with this is if you are a triple well user and you don't either want to pay for GPT-4 or you don't want to pay for GPT plus and have access to it at all times, etc. Well, you can do it through triple well. So you don't have to pay actually for a ChatGPT subscription. You can head again into Willy, click on GPT-4, toggle off this right here. So if I toggle it on, it gives me triple well data. If I toggle it off, it's only ChatGPT that I'm talking to. 
and right here you can go on and off with thin the same chat so right here I could have asked the question only to chat GPT that doesn't relate to my triple wall data. So I could be like, look, according again to Eugene Schwartz as an example, what are the market awareness levels? Then it tells me what are the five market awareness level? Then I could toggle triple wall back on and then straight jump in and ask a question around my data. And some of the ways for you to benefit from that, either as an e-commerce brand owner and or as a marketer or agency is as an example, let's just say I'm reporting back to that client. I could be on the client call and just go right here. Client asked me, what is the best performing creative right now? I could just be like, all right, no worries. Let me tell you that. What is my best performing Facebook ad creative? And within about a minute, I'll get the response from Willie. Now, yet again, this is a beta. You can see it right here. Sometimes it just doesn't understand what I'm telling it or gives me these weird responses that essentially I, I just can't interpret like that doesn't really tell me much. So with that being said, and kind of wrap up this video, it's an interesting new feature. Is it really that useful so far? I would put it honestly on a scale of one to 10, probably a six out of 10. Look, you can go to it and find some, you can go to it and use it as somewhat of an AI assistant to pull out and extract certain pieces of data from your triple reporting. So it kind of helps you with that if you just don't want to manually search for it. But at this moment, it is kind of slow to load responses. Therefore, sometimes it's easier and faster for you to actually just go and search for the response. And second of all, it also doesn't really understand it sometimes if you're asking quote unquote complex questions like what's my best ad creative right now. But what I admire the most is honestly just the speed of execution of the team at Chippewal. They output new features consistently week after week, month after month. So if you haven't yet checked out the software and you are a Shopify brand owner, I highly, highly recommend it you do. There will be a link in the description down below for you to get 15% off your subscription with Chippewal. So check this out. And we also recently launched our free community and free mini course amongst the PCAT community, which you can join again, free of charge in the description down below. So in this first module that we released, we talk about the basic economics and fundamentals that you need before thinking about scaling your ads as an e-commerce business owner. So check this out in the description down below. And if you're looking for an agency to run your Facebook and TikTok ads and produce all of your ad creatives, also check out the description down below and let's talk. On that note, make sure you also check out other videos on the channel for some more useful e-commerce marketing tips. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.